One of my favorite quotes is that if nothing changes, nothing changes. So today we're gonna talk about the one thing you need to start improving your mental health, so make sure that you stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I wanted to make this video because First and foremost, I'm so, so grateful um, for everybody who subscribed to my channel. Like, it is at over 2,600, and I'm like, Pew! right? There's so many people who are interested in learning more about their brain, their mind, their mental health, and all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much. But along with this growth, I've been getting a lot more messages, I've been getting emails and things like that. Um, I also have been replying to a lot of comments. And I wanted to make this video because I ask one question all the time, all the time I ask one question when people come to me um, talking about their mental health and ask me what they, what they should do. And we're gonna be covering something really, really important. So if you know somebody struggling with their mental health, you're definitely gonna wanna share this video with them. Because when I talk to people, when I work with people, I work with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who have mental health issues. Like when I'm talking to them, I ask them, I'm like, what are you doing for your mental health? What is the thing that you're doing for your mental health? Like, there is a really good reason why I start off every video by saying, we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. One reason I started this mental health channel was I was so sick and tired of seeing um, either mental health channels on YouTube, or I follow some mental health websites and where people write blogs, and it's all just focusing on the problem. And I'm like, what good is this? Now, don't get me wrong, it's good to find people that you can relate to, but like, we gotta start talking about the solutions. So that one thing that you need in order to improve your mental health is willingness. That is it, willingness. I want you to sit there and just ask yourself for a second, like, are you willing to do something about your current situation. Ask yourself that question. Like, I can't stress enough, like I empathize. I empathize so, so much. I have struggled with mental illness for most of my life. Depression, anxiety, addiction, you know, uh, a bad childhood, all sorts of things. And for so long, I was unwilling to do anything about it. I've done other videos on an external locus of control versus an internal locus of control. And when I finally looked at it and said, you know what? I need to start taking responsibility for my mental health and I need to do something about it. Like that's when my willingness started to come out, right? And <clears throat> I was just so tired of being miserable. I was so tired of being sad and anxious and angry all the time. I was just so tired of all this stuff. So I became willing to change. But the willingness to change comes with action. There's this uh, fun little riddle that I like uh, where they talk about there's three birds sitting on a wire and one of them makes a decision to fly away. How many birds are left? Three birds making a decision right? It doesn't mean jack unless you're willing to do something about it, unless you're willing to take this action. So a lot of people ask me like, how do I do it? How do I get through this? It's like I put in a lot of work through a variety of different ways. Um, a lot of you have been watching my videos lately. I've done a few videos about how meditation greatly helps me. And I see so many people, so, so many people who are completely unwilling to do it. And I get it, there's a lot of misconceptions. Some people don't understand meditation or how it helps. Like, something that helped me out so much was when I quit questioning everything. When people were giving me suggestions and I just did it, I was like, huh. That actually worked, like what the heck, right? But we we get so stubborn and we, we fall victim to our own beliefs and our own thoughts and our own ideas, but I can't stress enough, like we cannot trust the thing that is causing the problem, so we need these outside sources to start helping us and guiding us and giving us suggestions. So the first thing, I, I really hope that when I'm offering you suggestions with my videos, I really hope you at least try some of them. I know a lot of you do out there, right? But I will say this, like 
I am extremely empathetic to people struggling with mental illness. That's why I made this channel. But I am never going to be the person who jumps in and joins your pity party. And that sounds that sounds kind of rough, but like now that you guys are getting to know me a little bit better, like this is how I work. Like, I will sit there, I will be the shoulder for you to cry on, I will talk to you about everything, but there comes a point where I'm like, okay, that was the problem, what's the solution? So I want you to ask yourself, like, do you have willingness? Do you have willingness to change? Do you have willingness to get better? Do you have willingness to put action forth, right? So. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, yesterday, I did a video about the Huddle app. Are you willing to download that app and hop on and see if it's something that helps you? Are you willing to download a meditation app? Try it for five to 10 minutes a day. Are you willing to do that? I Something I tell my clients all the time when they come in my office and they're just listening to me, all the things that they're not willing to do. Here's my advice that I give everybody and I'll let you in on this little secret. Make this list, make a list of everything that you're not willing to do all right, and then on the other side of that list, make a list of everything you are willing to do, okay? Rip that thing in half, get rid of the list of everything you're not willing to do, and hyper-focus on the things that you are willing to do. The reason why I suggest this to people is because our brains have this negative bias and we focus on that negative. But when you take that list and purely focus on the things that you're willing to do, you're gonna start to see a lot more changes with your mental health. Now, something else, like I wanna build up this, this big community and I, I try my best to reply to all of you and answer you all the time, but I have the humility to admit that I don't have all the answers. I have some of the answers, but not all of the answers, which is why I'm so, so grateful that BetterHelp Online Therapy actually reached out to me and offered to provide my audience with affordable online therapy. So I have been redirecting some people there. So if you're interested, if you're willing to make a change, like please check out BetterHelp. There's a link in the description. I'll also pin a comment to it, but I have friends who have signed up for it. I know other people who use it. I've looked into it as well and researched all about it. Like, I would not promote anything on my channel that I didn't think was helpful. The things I love about BetterHelp is, first off, it's online, right? I know a lot of people struggle with uh, depression and anxiety. They don't even wanna leave their house, right? You can do it from your phone, okay? Now, one of the cool things about doing it from your phone is, is that, you can either text message with your therapist, you can also do video chat calls, you can also do phone calls, but they also have group therapy sessions that you can get involved with. They are licensed professionals. So they're able to walk you through different types of therapeutic techniques that are proven to improve your mental health. So this is a great way to get that support. The next thing, the reason why BetterHelp is so great too is that it's very, very affordable. They also have a sliding scale, so if you make less money, you won't have to pay as much. Like you go through this whole online forum. So just have some willingness to research some of these things that I'm offering you. Like I said, um, you can check down in the link, just walk through the process. Like you're not signing up for anything, just see, just look at it. Like, are you willing to even click on a link and do a little bit of research? But one of the best things you could do for yourself is start getting therapy. So yeah, like I said, BetterHelp is extremely affordable. If you have any questions about it, like please ask them down in the comments below. If you are, if you are already doing things, like this is something I, I tell people to do all the time. If you're already doing things for your mental health, like let me know. If they're not working, let me know because then I'm able to kind of dissect it and see, okay, well, we've tried this, we tried this, we tried this, but have you tried this, all right? So if you're already trying things like uh, therapy or meditation or medications and things like that, if you're already trying those things and you still find yourself struggling a lot, feel free to leave comments. I'll be in there answering all your questions and stuff like that, all right? But anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And if you got a minute and you wanna check out some other videos on my channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. All right, so again, thank you so much for watching. Have some willingness to improve your mental health and I'll see you next time.